daily 10 topics you have to do again and again i am recording on record i am telling why i am telling that i know when the interview came in so you tell like that okay sir i have to prepare that one or not so from the today onwards you are going to do an uh, interview preparing for the interview okay sir what is the things already i have told again i am telling because i handled many batches the same mistake they will do sir i am preparing i am still preparing i want to prepare so these are all the questions not going to be helpful okay so next what we are going to do so we are going to do okay how to do our uh, 10 topics so 10 topics is in the sense let's say uh the, today we are going to be start html editors like that up to here html links so you are going to be studying the uh, what we can say uh, the 10 topics so tomorrow same you want to start it so you are going with the next 10 topics so if you do so now initially you will feel like that okay you are studying but again you are getting forget so it will happen so thrice four times fifth time so then it will become an easy so how to study in the sense so if you um, you have to only not to study just you have to practice it so if you don't want to install anything so just uh, go for the code sandbox or else we can uh, w3 html css editor you just uh, type like this so you are going to be get the editors here so editor this is like a visual studio if you don't have it if you don't want to install anything so first what you have to do so first you have to go here so what is the editor so editor is something visual studio is a problem so what is the element what is the first element okay so here what happens uh, 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 tag name the content h1 the content and paragraph how to practice you just go here if you just change it here so uh, like that you know uh, same thing is visual studio code you are going to be edit here so if you just reload it is taking a little bit slowness let's see which internet is i have connected The system is slow. Yeah, it's connected to my mobile Wi-Fi, so that's why it is slow. Let connect. Okay, so you have to be practice every day. Uh, the hands-on means so definitely it is going to be helpful. So if you not practice and if you say just simply, uh, sir, I am uh, reading and I am going means it is not going to be helpful for you. So that is you have to, what you can say, uh, think of it. Just a minute. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, so here what we are doing, so how to study in sense, if you just go here, if you change anything, something like that, if you want a H2 tag. Just a minute. Oh. 
first let us admit all Okay, so now uh, we can look. So we have a different types of editors are there. So if you want to add it, you, so you can add something next text or something like that. So you have to practice like this. If you run it, so you are going to be get it. So what is an element? So this is a, a H1 is an element. So now it is an element. When you go with uh, some text, uh, it is become an. Uh, sorry, H1 is a tag. When you type something, it is going to be become an element. So like this, you have to practice every program, every ten items, uh, every day ten items. So next is a, a paragraph. So so just go here. So add a paragraph, start tag, and uh, less than. A start paragraph. So add uh, the dummy paragraph. So run it. So it is going to be run like this. So this is what a simple um, editor you can do if you don't want to install. Uh, uh, you don't want to install any software or something. So you can this uh, use this one. Where it is? So just type a w3 html css editor so you are going to be see so so many online code sandbox is there like that so we have a different editors okay the last topic so we have studied in the last session is around a css in limit align combinators for classes and opacity and the nav bar okay mm -hmm. so what is a nav bar if you just go for any website so i will say uh, linkedin i will go here LinkedIn, uh, I need to log in. Oh, okay, LinkedIn. Uh, what is that? Uh, LinkedIn Swiggy. So, Swiggy.com application. Every application is having the some navigation bar. So, that is not a Swiggy. Swiggy.com. So, every application is having a, a default one a navigation bar. Okay. So, if you want to find a uh, put in some area or something like that so you are going to be uh, what you can say so Bangalore Karnataka if you want to find a foot nearby here so you are going to be find the details so this is called a top one is there right so this is called a navigation bar so here it is a logo is there here it is a uh, location is there this, everything is there so this is called a, a navigation bar okay so this is the top one whatever it is seeing now so this is called a, a navigation bar so same thing we are going to be a develop here okay the first what we are going to do so i want to take a home news contact about us so i have to show home news contact about us so how to do this one the first what we have to do we are going to be take a you will and a li and a anchor tag why we need anchor tag see if i click means it is going for the offer page so how to do this one so that is uh, do with the anchor tag so what is offer 20 percent off on up to 30 for ice cream 20 percent again if i click means again it is an anchor tag they are used again if i click the specific one again this is the anchor tag so this is like that it is going on so first uh, what we are going to first i want to create a list so I I made up one folder. So in that folder only we are going to be work on it. Okay. The folder name is so why I am telling the folder name is so you people make a practice of a making a organized uh, code. So training badges, I guess CSS. 
that is the cmd then enter so you can do like this also or else you can uh, right click and uh, open with the uh, visual studio that is also you can do it so whichever is the possible you can do then cod dot enter so it is going to be open the uh, the visual studio code so that is the code editor we are going to be open so what we are going to do so we are going to be create a four links that is the home news contact about us okay so so for that so we are going to be create a one new file so that new file will be index 12.html so we have created a, a new file so here uh, what happens so it is taking a uh, some time why because i am using the uh, some plugins here tab 9 uh, thunder client and all so these are all the some plugins so that is going to be installed so that is why it is taking a little bit time so we have created a, a doc so doc is for so that is a, a short and property of a writing a whole html file so this is a doc html file so let it, uh, let it be load so uh, we are going to be create a, a four files that is a the uh, about home contact us and one more is what uh, home news okay news uh, we are using okay so let remove one more time okay let it be see why it is doing a little taking so here there is a assigning the uh, initializing that one so that's why it is uh, taking a time or else immediately it will happen so instead of waiting so i will just copy this one and i will add because i don't want to write whole things okay so uh, opacity related we have yesterday we have discussed so now we are not uh, discussing about here we are discussing about uh, the navigation bar so what we have to do we have to take a, a four section home news contact about us so that is a the you will a starting tag and you will end a tag okay so then we are going to be called the li so what is the li the li is a, a list item so li so just break the line li so every tag is having a, a start tag start tag and end tag okay so if you're facing a some uh, all type of this one so you have to just uh, uninstall the plugins so that is a li li inside again we have a anchor tag so why we have anchor tag so that anchor tag it is going to be hit to the a specific url or a href property so here that is the home okay so home it is initiated so same thing i will do for uh, three more thing what are all the three more things control v control v control v the next is a new yeah control z okay news next contact and the last one will be about us okay so this is a simple thing is there if i just do right click open with the live server how it looks so it is normally it will open with the uh, okay let's see localhost 5012.html so it looks like this okay if i show here my navigation is uh, in the this direction okay this is the navigation bar but uh, this is the uh, navigation bar it is showing something list 
okay how to do this one the next we are going to be call the href so that is we will do later the first one is uh, we need to apply a style for ul list style type none margin 0 padding 0 width 0 so we'll go here where we are going to put ul ul means on order list so list list style none so if i do so means it is going to be uh, the style will be gone okay and uh, margin and padding zero what is the margin so as i told every element is having a, a space between the element to element so this is a one anchor tag element uh, inside the li so this is the sum h2 or h3 tag so this is the sum margin top margin left so top margin right margin bottom margin left so every item is having a top right bottom left so this is how it is going to be work so for that i will set a margin so margin zero means what see so as i told top right bottom left if it is zero means it is going to be align a top left corner so margin also zero and sorry padding also zero what is a padding so creating a space between the content see now it is assigned to the uh, left <coughs> marding uh, okay uh, so margin padding and a list style none so width i want to set a 60 pixel width 60 pixel save it or run it will go here so this is the how it looks like. so still i want to uh, display at least in the <coughs> Oh. Just a minute. Okay, so I want to, I want to, uh, okay, I want to at least uh, like this. So how to do this one? I want to uh, see here the code is what they have written. So display block and a background color. Okay. So display block. So for which for inside a list item for anchor tag. So for the list item. So li is where li is here. Inside for anchor tag. So that is the anchor tag. Open close brace. So I want to apply a list a anchor tag. So what is the style I want to apply? So display block background color. I want to add it. So display block and background color some white save it so this is a at least how it looks okay so if you want to make in a horizontal line so how to do this one so just you use a in line sorry okay if you want to see uh, just uh, one minute like yeah individual items so you need to write the the display in line so then it is going to be show in the direction so li okay so here i want to use a reference href equals to some files hash href href is an attribute for the the anchor type href hash save it or run it will go here if i click so hash is coming if i click here hash so if you want to come uh, redirect to some fish hash home news hash contact hash about us save it run it so click the home the home hash is called news the contact 
same thing if i click here means how it is coming here means if i click as 20 percent it is coming how means so this is a we are using a something hash okay so one minute or display save it okay so this is a how to create a, a navigation bar okay same thing what we are doing here text decoration a background color list hour and everything they have done so here one more thing they are using a say horizontal navigation bar and display block means what it is taking the entire width of the screen same thing just here you, you will yellow display block color padding and all they are doing so just i want to copy this one for earlier they have what they done color and everything so just i want to add a this one save it we'll go here see how the space is added earlier it is looking very basic so what is the changes they have done so display block that is one thing color is a black and padding 8 pixel 16 pixel what is 8 pixel and 16 pixel so 8 pixel 2 value means uh, that is a top and a bottom and this is second value means right and left See, if I mention something 8 pixel means padding 8 pixel. So, this is for the top, right, bottom, left. So, that is 8 pixel. If I mention a two values, so the top and bottom is 8 pixel. 16 is a left and right 16 pixel. So, this is a, if you mention one value, so that is a top, right, bottom, left. If they mentioned a two value, so top, bottom, left, right. If they mentioned a more than two value, so that is a uh, 10 pixel or a 30 pixel, something like that. 20 pixel, 40 pixel. So this is the uh, top, right, bottom, left. So this is a clockwise direction. If you go for the margin, also same thing. So that is a, a top, right, bottom, left. And text decoration none. So what if I remove this? You will see. So what happens here? So there is a, some underline will come. So if you don't want to underline, so if you have to use a, a text decoration, none. So this is what we have done. So this is a CSS. If you want to make a, a hover, uh, like a, some color or change, something like that. So you can make it as a hover. Hover. How to do hover? I will show you. So how to do hover? For every list item, L I A colon hover. See, hover is here. So, what has to be done? So, for every list item, for the anchor tag, whenever I mouse over means, so you need to then say changes. For uh, demonstration purpose, I will use a uh, not text align. Uh, what is it? The background color I will set. The background color is something uh, bisque. Save it or run it. If I go here, if I mouse or miss, it is going to be changed like this. So, this is called an hour. Okay, the next they have used the C. The float list, the float left for the every list item, float left, the border right, one pixel solid is there okay okay so just we'll go here for the li li open close brace float left float left and the border border right one pixel solid bb so border border right one pixel solid hash bbb or something like that or cc okay save it or run it we'll go here see here how it looks now but uh, what i will do i will i don't want a uh, uh, this one uh, for the last child this is a 
what is that one this border how to do that one for the sorry for the list item the last child so this is a combinators and pseudo classes you have learned once. there for the li the last child border right is then see border right is then so for that what i will do uh li colon so what is that one last child so li a i think yeah sorry li last child open close brace so border border right none save it we'll go here we'll go here see for this one it is a border none so next what they have written they have written a li a display block color white text decoration padding text description is already done so li a colon hover not active background color so just i want to use something what is this one for the li a hour li a hour so this is we are going to use for li for list item inside a list anchor tag hover means what so once the hover means so then not active dot active so so here it is a the class active means so presently you are in the what you can say uh, this class or like a home page so this is how it looks and the a color act active background color is there okay so this is how it is going to be work so just i want to copy the whole stuff i will just go here control v save it we'll go here uh, and see let it be okay so you got it so how to use uh, uh, anchor tags and all the list save it run it just remove this one okay so this is how the the navigation link is there if you want a sticky and all so you are going to be right so we don't want to go more on that one so this is called a navigation bar so as like a, the swiggy is having a one navigation bar so this is also having a one navigation bar okay the next what we are going to, see you got it so why we need a navigation and all so next is a, a drop down so what's the drop down so drop down is almost all same thing so only thing we are using a button class drop down so that is we are going to be discuss remaining everything is same so just i want to copy the thing and i will paste so control v so what is happening here so due is there class drop down the button drop down so drop down is there so due class button contain link one link two something like that you go here see so this is how it is happening here okay so uh, let go through i will just i will write all those things so top enter the first thing what we are going to do i want to write a, the css okay first what we have to do so these are all the uh, text so you can write it or copy it that is not a matters so let's save it the next what it is then the due class drop down so first class is the due class drop down so due dot drop down so this is a, the first class we have created then we are going to be create a one more button so that is a uh, drop down button so inside a uh, button we'll close this one the class will be dbtn 
so what is the uh, the content so that is the a drop down so here it is we are going to be add a, a drop down so next what we are doing here so we are going to be create a class drop down content then the list title so we are calling a div dot drop down content so then what we are going to do we are going to be add a, a list item a list item so that is called as something google so we will add an anchor type google microsoft then li then anchor tag facebook so just i will cut it the anchor tag microsoft facebook and one more uh, company which is uh, google okay save it will uh, go for the same file and see here so this is how it is a uh, how it looks okay so just i will copy this one more paragraph here after this body control v save it go here we are going to be write a style by one so what is a drop down so this is a class background color color padding font size border cursor so for this what i will so for this drop down so this is a class is there so for that i want to write a style so that is a class is there that is why a drop down open close place enter so i want to write a, a style uh, the color will be uh, blue padding 10 pixel margin 5 pixel then what is the css padding and font size border none the cursor pointer so border none cursor pointer save it or run it so this is how it is going to be see how it looks now so this is a, a somewhat better than earlier so next what we are going to do so this is for the for this doppler we have written for this button we are going to write the styles so the drop down position is relative display is in the box so which is the relative means it is going to be refer this for drop down so this is a, a drop down this is a drop a drop btm okay so now uh, the first one is a uh, drop down see there are two classes are there the class drop down the button drop btm okay so this is a this is for the drop down actually copy dot drop down open to place so this is for the drop down so this is for the drop down button okay control v save it color padding margin border cursor pointer so just we'll go here see cancel so when i make a cursor the hand symbol will come okay so this is what we have done 
so next this is for the uh, drop down so for this view and this is the this dot btm this is the a uh, color we have applied the next what we are going to do we are going to apply the a uh, drop down content what is the drop down content for this content we are going to be apply a content this display none position absolute background color mid width box shadow z index so just i will copy because they don't want to take much time so where so drop down content so for this class we need to write so how to write dot drop down hyphen con content open close brace i will paste here so save it we'll go here we'll see here so run it okay so what is the thing it is the display uh, display none and a position as you look background color min width box shadow z index is there so what is this the changes is there is no such changes is happened so here what happens the background color we have used as something other than 99 so it is not changing is changes is happening why because we need to see the drop down see drop down uh, here is the drop down is there here is the drop down is there so for that we need to copy paste the exact uh, the class name or else it is not going to be take it save it run it see here it is hidden i will just take this class thing for the drop down content for the drop down content so display none means what it is going to be hide if i just remove means what it will be there save it it is going to be show the a data see here how it is showing so control z position is absolute background color this one minimum width is 1361 box box add a z index means it is going to be overlap so that is why it is going to be return a z index the next what is the and for the drop down content is what the drop down content anchor tag okay so we'll uh, write a css for this one Let's just a minute okay so now what we are going to do so we are going to be assign the a drop down content for the anchor tag we are going to be writing so what is the drop down content of so here it is a so drop down content so i will copy because i i don't want to make a type of mistake drop down content and uh, the individual anchor tag open close brace and uh, can I apply some color is something the tomato and a text decoration none a display block so this much color i have done text and display block so drop down content of our background color and drop down hover background content is there so you just analyze okay no need to worry about this one so just analyze so what is happening so just i will show the output here see so if i mouse over means it is going to be come this like this so we'll analyze one more thing. so this is the due is there the class is drop down here it is a button is there for the drop down button so here it is a drop down button and uh, so due drop down content one more class is there there we have a list item with a anchor tag 
okay so when i mouse on this automatically it is coming to the this details so the first class what we have written for the drop down button so color this one padding this one margin border cursor so for this is the a button css and the a drop down what is a drop down when i mouse on this this is a drop down will come no so for that drop down the position is relative displays the inline block and the next is a, a drop down content for the drop down content what is the drop down content so there is a whole thing this is called a drop down content google microsoft whatever the thing i have written so that is a drop down content where it is here so that class is start from here to here for the complete a uh, drop down content so display none position is absolute background color is this one minimum width is this one box size is zip index so why we use a display none means initially it is a display none when i mouse mouse over means it is going to be show the data okay so how the drop down content a hover background color this one so when i mouse over in the background color it is going to be change some color here so if you want to see here if you just go here if you change the color here so for the drop down content class the anchor tag the hover means when i mouse over means it is going to be change the color see here the background color so this is how thing drop down hover drop down content display and drop so what is this one means so when i show here so it is going to be display block so then so this is a background color is this is a green is there okay so everything we are going to be write with the uh, classes so that is what we have to think of it so then uh, so if you just copy paste also you are going to be get no need to worry for but you have to be understand that is why we have written rightly open with the live server means it is going to be open with the 12 see if i click means it has to be go for the new page so how to do this one so here just if you call the google microsoft facebook okay so here it is a three companies are there if i click this that has that pass that page has to be go means so what we have to do we have to add a pages here for the google here it is and microsoft link so this is the a microsoft link so if you want to redirect to that specific page you need to add this one. for the facebook you know everyone love the facebook control s so control v so if i go here we will go here if i mouse or means so google is there when i click on the google automatically it is going to be open this one okay so um, so if you don't want to open in the same page so you have to use a one more attribute in the anchor tag so that is called a, the target blank save it or run it if you go here just if you click here see it is going to be open the google page if i mouse over if i click the microsoft means yeah for this i need to add a, a target blank target blank and target blank save it if i go for the 127 so double five double zero uh, index twelve dot html okay if I mouse over means if I click here it is going to be open a file if I mouse over if I click means Microsoft it is going for the new page if I mouse over so this is how it is going to be open the uh, new pages okay Facebook this is uh, all the uh, 
of pages. So how it is happening? We are using the anchor tab. Whenever we keep a mouse over on that end, it is going to be open like this. So if I use a target blank, so that is why it is going to be open the new place. Okay. So this is a normal uh, a drop down and CSS attribute is there. If you want, you can go with RS leave it. CSS forms, you already see that is a form. So that is the same thing. CSS counter. So you can ignore your RS if you want to, you can just go. This is a, something, this is a counts the value, that's it. The next is the advanced CSS. What is the advanced CSS? The advanced CSS is nothing but, so we are going to be write a, with the base CSS, we are writing, the, uh, writing the, some more CSS. So just I want to copy and I will show you here. So I will take a index 13.html and a control V, save it. See, we are using the PID. So this is the ID 1, ID 2, ID 3. So right click, open with the live server, it is going to be open. See, this is the a rounded corner. So this is the edge and this is the, what you can say, uh, border is there. This is a no border is there. So just I want to remove all the CSS. To remove, delete it. So just I want to remove Save it. So how it looks? So it looks like this. Okay. So there are the three properties we are going to be applied. So just I will go for index deep Okay. The R corners one border radius, background padding, width, the height. So what is the CSS we are going to be set? For this ID, I want to write, how to uh, write ID, hash, what is the ID name? So this is the ID name, control B, open close base. Uh, the width is around 200 pixel. And uh, the height will be around 100 pixel. And uh, border. So what type of border they are looking for it? So the border is something, sorry, border radius. So border radius is 25 pixel. And so what's, if you want to set a background color, you can add a background color, whichever the color you want. Save it, or run it. If you go here, so this is a, how it looks. So, copy, copy, control B. Save it. Okay, so that is a border radius. What is this? In? Yes, we have done the slice mistake. Border radius, colon, save it, run it. See how the, the corner will be edged. So this is the advanced CSS. The next is the R core border radius to the pixel. So this is a is there. If I just copy for R corners two. So there I want to hash R corners to open close brace enter control V save it run it. We'll go here. So this is how it looks. Just I want to get a good change in right hand. So this is the border radius is not applied. Okay. And the third one is a, the border radius and along with the image. So I will just copy this one. So I will use a hash or Corners three close enter. This is a one thing. So if you want to apply the a background image, so just go here 
search for the Pixabay okay so what is the Pixabay is there so Pixabay is you know already know so just do in this fact so I want to set the background image for what for a control X or else I will use a control X I will just use the inside here remove see border radius means it is going to be cut the edge background is it is going to be set for the background where for the or corners 3 what is the or corners 3 this is the paragraph okay background repeat so position background position is left top so this is the left and the top left top top right means so this is here bottom right means this is uh, bottom left means so this is how so background repeat no repeat I am padding 20 pixel width 200 height 150 pixel save it will go here so this is how it is going to be set the background position and background images so this is all about the so rounded corners so this is again it is a background image is there so same thing we already seen in the basic and CSS colors is there so here we are going to be apply the colors in the uh, increasing the order so just I want to copy this one because it's not a complex thing so just they have used the six paragraph for each paragraph they have initialized the ID P1, P2, P3 like that so for P1 they have applied the background color only changes they have done with the slight changes in the here the CSS properties so just control A, control B, save it, right click, open with live server. See, there is a, a different colors how it is going to be applied. So the, how to set the background color for individual. So for each, for the five paragraph we are applying the different color based on their ID attribute. So why we need attribute you got right right? If I apply the background color somewhat light pink, so for we have a six paragraph. For which paragraph you are going to be apply? So for this ID equals to P1. So for this is the P1 paragraph you are going to be set the a color. So this is how it is going to be a work. And a gradient is there. So gradient is something like that. Okay. So this is a, a transition of your darkness. That's it. So. What is a linear gradient, radial gradient, and uh, uh, like that we have. So just I want to take a, one example. So that is for the index 14.html and the doc enter, save it, and it's to uh, gradients, save it. So how to do here gradients in the sense? Okay, so background image, uh, linear gradient, uh, color, color, something like that. Okay, so what I will do? I want to apply. Uh, I want to take a one view here. View. And uh, I want to apply the uh, style here. So for the do I want to write the open close place? How to write? So I want to take the, the command called the background image, the linear gradient, direction, or color, color stop one, color stop two, like that. Okay, so just we'll go here background image, background image, linear gradient. So I will add a uh, one example a direction if you want you can go into direction color stop one color stop two like that so something called a red save it we'll uh, go for index 40.html So div is there. So background image. Okay, for the image we need to set. Uh, okay, 
deploy para see here we want to see there are two colors are in, uh, added here if you want to see the width will be 400 pixel height will be 200 pixel save it run it see there are two colors are involved here so this is called a, a linear gradient so this is a red initially that the w is there so i will add a one more color so that is called a yellow save it run it see there are a red and a blue yellow so three colors are included so this is called a, a linear gradient so same thing one more thing it will come a radial gradient so for that so just remove this one uh, radial I will just cut this one control X radial gradient so control B so just I will remove one so what is a linear gradient is it is going from the a left or right or something like that for the radial gradient one slider that is from the center it is to be. see center one color and blue it is there so you can give uh, a number of colors it will take but uh, if you give more uh, colors it is going to be take a less uh, visibility so one more thing is called a green save it yeah yeah one thing so why it is a uh, we can mention a number of also so it is having a some limitations okay so uh, like that based on that we are going to be apply the uh, gradients so this is a radial means it is going to be take from the center linear means whether it is from the uh, left to right or right to left or something like that so this is how it is going so always why we need in sense see whenever doing some animation or motion picture something like that so there you are going to be use this one okay we have to show something uh, like uh, animated thing like this here you are using a linear and radial gradient and the background also a chronic gradient is there so this is a uh, no need to study a, if you for knowledge purpose you can go it for linear uh, gradient you are awfully well using a radial is also a rarely so these two are using a rarely but if you want to learn the background image chronic gradient just use a chronic gradient and a and position and a degree so you can mention anything and a, one more thing last of your more topics okay already time see text effects so what is a text effects so that is a, a text shadows so just if you go for a one more paragraph open close brace so text shadow 2 pixel 3 pixel something like that save it so text shadow 2 pixel 2 pixel they have run. 2 pixel 3 pixels just if you go here where is that one p paragraph so i we don't have a paragraph right so i want to take a one paragraph here so adding the this is a, a text shadow save it run it see here that the text shadow is there just reload it so this is a, a text a shadow so if you want to make a two pixel two pixel save it run it something like that if you want to make a some color you save it run it see there is a two pixel two pixel so what is this one if you want to set the box shadow so box shadow means what i will use a so box shadow box shadow 
or what value we can give box holder box holder 10 pixel 10 pixel light blue i will use so control b save it write it we go here see here there is something block box shadow is there no? so this is a 10 pixel 10 pixel uh, which is going to be uh, go top right now and bottom left this is a 10 pixel it is going to be like this okay so this is all about the, the box shadow so if you learn the remaining this is a button pagination multiple formulas so this is a responsive web design this is a one thing media query and a flexible if you do know the, your CSS will be over okay so I think hardly tomorrow 